Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make flaxseed gel and also how to apply it to your hair, how to rinse it out and also what I did to my hair at the end because I had some really shocking results after doing this hair treatment. So I feel like you guys, if you guys have really dry and damaged hair, this recipe is going to be the best for you. So this is how my hair looked like before the whole treatment started. This is actually day four hair. It's actually pretty shiny and uh, still looks pretty frizz free, but there it is pretty greasy at the top. And uh, I feel like my day four hair looks a little bit better than this, but um, yeah. So we're gonna get started with the ingredients and um, it's actually really simple to make. And uh, yeah, let's get started. Uh, I mean, of course, you will need flaxseed gel. I got this uh, Bio Naturals flaxseeds, and also you're gonna need some water. And then just add all your ingredients into the bowl and put it on to medium heat. So, here's some fun facts about flaxseeds. Flaxseed is a superfood that has been used for centuries to cure different diseases. It's supposed to be um, a cancer preventer. Women who eat uh, flax seeds have an 18% less chance of developing breast cancer and it also has many hair benefits. It's supposed to strengthen your hair, reduce frizz, add shine, reduce uh, scalp problems and get rid of, of lice apparently. And also it's supposed to get rid of split ends but obviously that's not possible because the only thing that can get rid of split ends is scissors. So this is how it looks after 3 minutes of boiling, this is after 5 minutes of boiling, as you can see it started to boil but it's not ready yet. I boiled my flaxseed for 7 minutes and this is how it's gonna look like when it's ready. And then just strain it and if you have a cheesecloth available please use that because it was actually really hard to strain it to the strainer so yeah. If you guys have like a cheesecloth or anything besides the strainer, it's gonna be a lot easier to strain it. And this is how much flaxseed I ended up making. I ended up making a bit too much, but as you can see, this is the second bowl. And I feel like I made a bit too much, but um, but still, it was pretty easy to apply to my hair, which I'll show you later on. So this is uh, my hair. I'm gonna start by brushing it before any treatment starts. Start by brushing uh, at the end, so working your way up. This helps to get rid of knots without pulling on your hair and causing hair loss. So yeah, just take your time and um, I will spend the rest later. So I have brushed all my hair. And now what I do is I flip my hair over to apply the flexi gel. So I just flip it over like this. And then I try to like um, comb, finger comb my hair. And then um, I start by applying the flexi gel to my scalp. Try focusing it as much as possible into the scalp because obviously that's where hair is growing from. And this is also really great for circulation and it's supposed to promote hair growth. So after you're done applying the flexi to your scalp, start by applying, applying it to the length of your hair. I use this crunching technique to apply the flexi gel into my hair faster and more efficiently. I mean, if you if you want, you can also just like drag it through your hair, but also that's kind of like um, not good because that would like pull my hair out. And I just do the scrunching technique, and it, it's a lot better and easier and faster to do this. So. So here's a time lapse of me applying the flexi gel to my hair length.
so this is how it's gonna look like when you are done it's gonna look like um, you just stepped out of the shower a couple minutes ago and then after you're done with that just apply the flexi gel to the top of your head like on the top uh, hairs that's also where it needs to be covered completely So after you're done applying the flexi gel to your hair, then just put your hair into a high and loose bun on top of your head. So just take your time and try to put it up as loose as possible, but also not too loose. And also I, I try to like push that bun down. So that's why it, so it like sits on my head and I don't need a hair tie or anything. So then I cover it up with a shower cap to keep the heat in and also it enhances the properties of the any hair mask you pretty much put on. So this is like the, a little, how do I say this, like a booster for the results. So if you guys have a, like a shower cap available, definitely use it. And it's going to make the results even better for your hair. So this is how it's going to look like at the end. I just leave this in for 2 hours but you can also leave it in overnight or for just 1 hour, whatever you like. So this is the mess that I made and I need to clean this up. So these are all of the products I use on my hair. First I start with the Herbal Essence Sputin L.I.M. Bamboo Shampoo that is sulfate free. And then I go in with a silicone free conditioner that is also from Herbal Essences. And then I use this coconut treatment hair mask to hydrate my hair. And then I finish it up with the ECV rinse to close the hair cuticles. And this is how my hair turned out. This is actually the next day after being air dried and uh, I slept with it with a braid overnight. So as you can see my hair is ultra shiny and healthy. And yeah, this is like the best my hair has ever looked from like any treatment. So yeah, this is like the best hair remedy I ever tried. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it. And also subscribe down below to never miss a future video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.